In a meeting Thursday morning at Myrtle Beach International Airport, former House Speaker Newt Gingrich told Horry County Council and other local leaders he will do everything he can to help get Interstate 73 built. I've committed to work with Congressman Rice and with your two senators to do all I can to be helpful in uh, making sure that this project is seen as a national project that has real importance to lots and lots of people. His strategy? Gingrich says he wants to make infrastructure a bigger part of the political dialogue in Washington. The federal government has to find a way to be helpful and, and that's part of why I came here to talk about the potential with offshore natural gas developing the royalty payments that could actually finance the kind of development that I-73 is. As Gingrich puts it, the federal government would have to be financially helpful on a pretty substantial scale, even for the first leg of I-73 to be complete, from Highway 22 to Interstate 95 in Florence. Horry County Council Chairman-elect Mark Lazarus said that first leg of I-73 would do a lot more than just help improve the local economy. It would be a lifesaver. It's also a big safety. Uh, issue for us to be able to get people out of here uh, in case of a hurricane or a, a natural event. Proponents like Gingrich and Lazarus say I-73 has to be put in place just to be economically competitive. Well, I think we got to recognize if you want to create jobs, part of the key to it is to have transportation systems that enable you to be competitive in the world market and that enable you to move goods and services around. Just one more reason why Gingrich says this interstate needs to be built. In Myrtle Beach, Mark Liverman, WPDE News Channel 15.